breaks down. Uno X here with Erasmus Tiller, big favourite, uh, Sport Vlan Vlana, and you know they're going to fill up the breakaway with the Herogods, Deville, those sorts of riders. Uh, Bike Exchange brought Matthews and Groves, just trying to cover all bases here for some UCI points. Nice looking aero rigs, the propels are there as well. Sam Bennett gaining a bit of momentum now, a bit of form for the Tour of France, looking for a bunch kick. Uh, as was Christophe, who we know just loves this wet, filthy Belgian conditions um, and where he thrives as well. Nice poncho by the cameraman. He certainly it is. Uh, Phil Gill loves a classic race as well. They were all in for Vermeesh as well as Campenart. Uh, Dylan Van Baal, pretty happy to be under the umbrella this time around. Tim Murley, a former winner, he would like a bunch kick or a hard race. But as they start in the neutral, everybody's favourite, just rolling the neutral when it's pissing down. Absolutely sprayed this guy. How about that? This is a grimace. They haven't even started the race yet. Uh, <laughs> and it's just sprayathon here. I'm sure many of the riders at the back of the bunch before they start as the flag drops are not exactly enthused about this. But as the flag does drop and they shut that mirror moonroof of the vehicle there, the BMW, Sport Van Varneren straight to the front. They need to get in the brake with no sprinter. They want to operate in a brake. Here's Viviani. He's probably slipped on those white lines there, but... At 91 k's to go, this was the break, and they had 6 minutes 40. Taco Van Horn is in there. Remember, this race is 203. Mo Wellens, look out for him for the Manera cycling team. And this guy, well, he did. <laughs>
quite make it, unfortunately in no man's land. But the brake pushes on, they've got a nice handy gap. strong group of Belgians and a mix. At 50 k's to go, Wellen starts to drill it. Lotto looking to split this race up. Magnus Sheffield wants a piece of it as well. He takes the road, Wellen's on the path, and actually takes a bit of course. And Magnus, not happy about that, says, mate, take the road, please. No shortcuts. He pushes on. Wellens and him kind of have a bit of a duel, but Magnus, look at him, his stomping style. Really splits up the race here. Ben Turner's at the back as well. Uh, Wellen's still just... <laughs> of teammates back each look behind you've got ben turner a group of six or seven that's weighed up and we and uh ben turner uh, and magnus and of course to a coffin as well matthews made it across uh gets on the radio to let them know but it came back together and at 26 k this group the breakaway they had Bernard is on the front trying to bring it back now a lot of have all the numbers and they need to bring this gap down on the 
River, Tim Wellens on the path here, trying to avoid the cobbles. You can see bike exchange at the back there. And at 10 k's to go, it was 46 seconds. Groves takes off his hat, because uh, trying to ride with those hats is a little bit annoying. You've got to keep your head up. It uh, can be a bit distracting. And with the sprint, well, he was getting ready for it. 46 seconds, they were on. But they did not give up at the front of the race. All in, despite Ineos getting involved in the chase. Campenards blew up here at 4 k's to go. It was 30 seconds. They were not going to catch them. Uh, Tobias Via here uh, ended up leading out the sprint. But he was cooked. And look at Vellums. Vellums from the Manera cycling team hit out at a really good attack. Taco looks behind and sees there's no one else who can respond. Then he launches no hesitation. Now he slowly won. <laughs> Belgian rider in the lead, closing in on the finish. Timo Willems, what's he got left? Taco Van der Horn doing everything he can to try and close it down. Tobias Bayer sitting there. Timo Willems, if he can hang on here, he's going to get one of the biggest wins of his career. This will be mighty impressive at the Brussels Cycling Classic. Willems holding on. Taco Van der Horn doing everything he can to try and close it down. Has he got enough? Taco Van der Horn is absolutely doing it everything. He's going to pull the bars off at this rate, but Timo Willems closing in. Taco Van der Horn, who's got it left? Van der Horn, as he goes to the line, he's going to take this, and bobbing as he does so. Taco Van der Horn has taken it, but only at the very end. And look at the remnants of our leading group. They're a bang on the bars from Rune Herigods, and here comes the chasing peloton as well. They did survive. Those ten riders that became eight survived, and uh, Taco Van der Horn took the win. Alexander Kristoff is going to hang on and take the best of the rest. But his teammate, the Dutchman, Taco Vanderhorn, has already taken...